Hey yo, what's good, our squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. We finally got a release date for the dark green V2s, and it was confirmed by Yeezy Mafia that they will release on June 24th. So that's basically in a month from today, maybe a little two days earlier, but whatever. Is it 26 today? But you know, in a month. And here's the tweet to confirm that if you guys don't believe me for any reason, I don't know why you guys want to believe me. I'm an expert. Just kidding, I'm not really an expert. Let me tell you guys something about this release though. Unfortunately, there is less pairs than the cream whites. Unfortunately, there is less pair than the bread colorway. Why? I don't know. That is the, this is the dumbest thing they can do. I guess I'm assuming that many people aren't gonna like the green colorway. So, I mean, that, that this is from Adidas mindset. There, I'm assuming that people aren't gonna like the green one. So that many aren't gonna sell, but regardless of the fact, all pairs are gonna sell. I have a feeling that the reason that they're making less pairs than the breads is because of that. But there is more than the zebras because the zebras were super limited and apparently there's supposed to be a restock coming up in the summer, but I don't know about that. There's That's just a rumor. I don't think it's true. In my opinion, Adidas should have made the same amount as the cream whites, if not more, or maybe the same. I mean, if they make more and cost to keep making it more, they're eventually gonna sit on shelves. So that's why I think they should have made the same amount as the cream whites or the breads, but they're even making less than the breads which the breads is less than the creams. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know why the numbers keep changing. I really don't know. What I do know is that the green is ugly. Like they're calling it dark green, but it's not even a dark green. It's actually more of, not, I can't say light green, but it's like a faded dark green. So it's a faded olive color. So it's this right here is a dark green. This is my blankets by the way, guys. But yeah, this is a dark green. And basically the color of the Yeezy that's coming out is, well, apparently from pictures that have been shown, it's this color if you left it in the sun too long. So it does turn into like a lighter shaded dark green. Cause the green is like green, green, green. I don't even know what green is. I don't really own any green. I'm about to show my picture right here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below of this shoe. I don't really, I mean, I obviously I'm gonna buy it cause I'm a hype beast and I'm just gonna buy it cause it's a Yeezy. And I'm not gonna lie, I wish I want, like it's the closest thing to olive green. So which is the reason that I'm gonna buy it because I've always wanted olive green pair of shoes. I mean, I do have those camel shoes that I just showed you. I'll show you guys again. It is these boost shoes, but I destroyed them and they're not even nice. Like, I don't know. These aren't the most comfortable shoe ever and they're not the nicest shoe and they're not the hypest shoe. So I really don't wear them that much. I know I'm a hype beast. At least I'll admit it. Some of you guys get so offended when I say that or some of you guys say you're a hype beast. You act like you're offending me, but in reality, you're just telling me what I really am. There's no official pictures yet. Right now, it's just an official release date, according to Yeezy Mafia, and they are right 100% of the times. Like, they'll say, even if they say something, they'll correct themselves eventually. They have the background information for some reason. I don't know who it is. People think it's John Wexler. It wouldn't make sense, but it would at the same time if it was him. If you guys don't know John Wexler, he is the person that brought Kanye into Adidas. By the way, if you guys are looking to pick up the shoe, it will cost you $220. If you want to improve your chances, you can use an instant service bot such as Heated Kicks. You can go to their website, which is heatedkicks.com. It is simple to set up. It comes with an instruction manual. It's easy to use and understand. And I would mainly recommend this for beginners who have never used a bot before. So this is that initial step to get into the bot game, if that's what you're into. You can use it worldwide, and it only costs $18.40 in US dollars. And it never expires, so you can use it for future releases. But don't forget that when you go to check out, to use my promo code, which is RSNE in all capital letters anyways you guys did enjoy the video make sure to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe we are trying to get to 50,000 subscribers so i can pick the winner of the easy giveaway you already know i can't forget the fan of the day all right guys i can't really choose a fan of the day because you guys didn't comment notification squad you guys are saying hi early that's not what i'm asking for i'm asking for you guys to say notification squad that's it it's not that hard but for today i'll just give fan of the day to the very first person that commented and it was Harambe. anyways make sure you stay woke